Some children are simply mute. They do not talk. This is rare. Most individuals with autism will verbalize some, even if the verbalization is not functional. The, current, the concern is not so much lack of speech as lack of functional speech. Many students will need support to communicate. This support includes Augmentative and Alternative Communication, or AAC. AAC takes many forms and can include the use of sign language, pictures, a single message voice output device, a high-tech device, or the picture exchange communication system called PEX. Children with autism sometimes learn language in chunks rather than analytically. This is called, called Gestalt language learning. Rather than breaking language into smaller units of meaning or morphemes, the child memorizes whole chunks of language. For example, I might ask a child with autism the question, what do you want for breakfast? The child answers, I want Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. I might ask the same question of a child without autism and get the response, me wants bowls of cereals. At face value, it may appear the child with autism has better language development. He or she sounds great. In fact, the latter child actually demonstrates better language development. This child is learning to analyze language. Even though the child's statement is grammatically incorrect, he or she realizes that an S on the end of a word means more than one and so on. Children with autism often don't do this, which compromises their language development, especially their receptive or comprehension abilities. Echolalia is an unusual characteristic sometimes displayed by individuals with autism. In its simplest form, this is repeating, just repeating what is heard. Echolalia can be immediate, delayed, or mitigated. Delayed echolalia would be something like the Wheaties example. Mitigated echolalia is a positive sign. It is echolalia that changes in the repeating. The change indicates the child is analyzing language to some degree. For many children with autism, echolalia is a start at language development. Although considered unusual or disordered, it provides a foundation for building language. Perseverative speech is persistent repetition of comments or questions which may be both communicative or non-communicative. Perseveration is used among children with autism for several reasons. It may be self-stimulating, or it may provide time for a child to process information. In the case of echolalia, the child may be affirming or checking what is said, but whatever the case, it is important to recognize these non-functional uses of language as a place to start. Organizing the environment, including our own responses, will assist in shaping these types of productions into, into functional language.